Hey, Red of Minecraft. Uh, sorry to make this video. This is kind of an I told you so the video. This is um, to quell some of the arguments I've been getting and a lot of downvotes I've been getting for saying that uh, these circuits uh, they, that include the redstone repeaters are not as great as they seem. They really, really aren't. Because, okay, let me let me explain to you why. This circuit right here travels. Uh, it it excuse me it doesn't travel. It repeats. Uh, faster than a five o'clock, which is nice, and it's so much smaller. Look at that. This is so much smaller. That's the whole circuit. That's it. It's six blocks. It's amazingly small. But you have to realize that these will break after uh, you log out and log back in. Uh, and sometimes, only sometimes, they will fix themselves. That is only if this redstone torch happens to be on when you log out. Uh, as for this, only the last two settings are stable. If you go to the first setting or the second setting, they will break themselves. They will restart again after a few seconds. But if you want a constant circuit, this is it's it's just not gonna work. See, broke itself again. It moves too fast. So the third setting is great if you want a replacement for the five o'clock, but you gotta remember this will break itself after you log out or if the server goes down for whatever the reason. In terms of speed, a lot of people are saying that these are much faster than this. They actually travel at the same speed. Um, no, repeat at the same speed, excuse me. I have a, both of these are filled with 64 blocks of sand. I'm going to turn it on and you're going to see that they're going to end at about the same time. Um, and Okay, you see they ended at literally almost the same exact time. Although the uh, rapid pulser is more ragged and makes a lot of noise, it is exactly the same speed as this one. After doing about 10-15 different tests, they always end at about the same exact time. Now, uh, a lot of people like this more because of the fact that it's small, it's compact, you can uh, although it is wider than the rapid pulser, it uh, it only takes up one block worth of height, so you can you can complete this you can completely cover this up and hide it, which is great. But then again, you could also hide this somewhere. Uh, as for the circuit, though, this will break if you log out. So although it's quiet and although it's smaller, if you think about it, um, this is more durable. If you want something that you don't have to come back to and reset every single time, you're going to have to uh, use a rapid pulser. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how these circuits break as soon as this uh, finishes loading. Okay, you're going to see, whoops, I missed that one. These circuits are now broken. These will not turn back on unless they have intervention. So if these are hidden somewhere, that's not going to work for you. See, the rapid pulser, this was broken when I came back in. This just started back up right now. And the five clock just started back up by itself. These need intervention in order to start back up. It doesn't matter if they're quiet. If they are hidden and hard to get to and you need to go in and fix them every single time, it is really more trouble than they are worth. The resources going into these are, as are actually a lot more. This is, this is for to torches. This is for torches. But the thing is, you need three stone for each of these. That's six stone. All you need is two pieces of dirt, two pieces of sand, whatever. And then the redstone pieces. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This needs five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. And then the lead wires, I'm not going to count. Well, eight for this one. So this is less resources, more durable, same speed, won't break on you although it is noisy than this one this one has m this one needs more resources and it will break on you and you will need to intervene in order to turn it back on same with this one you will need to intervene to turn it back on this one you could probably just pop out a redstone and put it back in and it'll start up again um so that's what i wanted to say uh, if you guys dislike the video, go ahead and dislike the video. If you want to downvote me, go ahead and downvote me. But the fact of the matter is, these these original redstone circuits are much more durable than the new repeater blocks. And 
Although the repeater blocks are nice, they're small, they're great, you're gonna have to reset them every time you log out or every time the server goes down. So they are not great for something that you're hiding, a hidden system. They're fantastic for music blocks, but other than that, I do not see a point in using them if they are just going to break every time you log out and log back in. Thank you for listening, and uh, that's it for me. Thanks.